that's okay you get one my name is hazel banda i'm a student at wg academy so i'm now presenting on our third question which was five successful women in the catering industry and how they started their business my first one was namala nganubi uh, so before namala nganubi started her business she had a nine to five job like most people she then decided to take a chance on herself not only to follow not only to follow her passions but her but a life of purpose but to live a life of purpose growing up she was raised by a very very powerful mother and a great mother and at the age of 9 at sipepa chorocho she opened a school in her grandmother's yard backyard where she used to teach her young sisters and brothers the things she used to learn at school and church she said when she learns she teaches and that's the gift that that best wg foundation and success talk with noma she says she had, she was a daydreamer as a child she closed her eyes and saw good things she had been an entrepreneur for the longest time since selling cakes as a student at bulawa polytechnic she had money lending and stationery company with her workmates at zimbabwe school school of mines in 2010 she opened a restaurant and a boutique that flooded that folded a year later she, yeah i'm done with normal money then the second one is um yunis lamini the owner of mm joyous events yunis lamini is a 50 year old now and a nurse and the owner of mmm joyous events who was a vendor at the age of five and now is a prominent business woman she says business to her is not primarily about primarily about money she she saw her ways next to beer house at bus terminus and along main roads she said she's proud that even at the age of five she contributed meaningfully to the family income that's what i wrote about here i just didn't understand a lot that was in my script and i have parirai nandipa events so parirai nandipa events i helped her myself and i asked her about how she started very good yes very good so she told me that she started in 2012 2012 with three of her friends when they catered for a family they then separated to each have their own businesses so she started out as nandis nandis waiting and mostly catered for weddings and doing snacks and cakes for parties she says as they started to get corporate jobs and other events they then changed the name to farinai nandipa events in 2016 from 2016 to 2018 she opened a shop in town called cakes by nandi where they did themed cakes and wedding cakes she then took a family break 2018 up to 2020 then 2021 resumed work with a different with a different business model she says the catering department is now functioning as a separate unit trading as the pallet garden cafe and farirai nandipa events is now into management and planning she says she is self trained and started out out of interest and has always enjoyed food and cooking i wrote about three my group member will continue okay thank you very much group member let's go let's hear about the others it's we we'll ask them at the same time so you She did very good, didn't she? Yes, love. She where were you getting? Where is the fa- member who's who's continuing? Why how come she's sitting down instead of standing up? 
<laughs> go to that site. But that presentation was very good. Yeah. It was very good. So when we will ask you questions, uh, the next presenter now, introduce yourself. Good afternoon. My name is Crystal Masare. I want to continue on question number three. But me, I didn't write uh, about... Just write what you wrote. Read what you wrote. <laughs> Um, there is the Albert Aliva, owner of the baker. He started a, he started this business as a dishwasher, uh, starting cooking with filter and different food. Uh, but one day he was promoted as a as a chief in UK. I found it in the internet. It's okay. It's, it's yeah. okay. We haven't started asking questions. And I found about Alika and Julie. They had a coffee shop. What they how they started their business? They started by discovering how to produce a very type of coffee. And uh, Alika found these ideas, and Julie they formed together their ideas, and they started their business. So they said it was a challenge, but also interesting to the local community. That's how they started their business. A coffee business shop. Okay. Yes. Okay. So Hazel, join your partner. Then any questions, Mtala? Let's start with the next with the, with the questions for for the for Hazel and Christopher. Um, Christopher, how come Christian says five successful women, three agents, and eight of artists? Oh, this this is women. Alphabet. Oh, he. He. No, I there I made a mistake. But Eric and Joy. Eric and Joy. So you have to replace. Okay, Albert. So you need to you need to drop Albert. Okay, Bushe, uh, your question. You wanted to ask about Albert. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Tumazile, your question. You didn't want to ask about Albert. They did their work well, there are no questions. No, there's nothing like that. Uh, Violet, what's your question? That's a lazy answer, Bushe. A lazy answer. Of the of Mandipa, oh, oh, yes. that's very that impressive. And yes. me, that's what I thought. Yeah. Very impressive that she approached Mandipa. Yes. I googled uh -huh. about her story, uh -huh. but then I didn't see anything and I saw her number. Then I said her. And she responded. And she responded. Ah, that's very good. That's yeah, researching. That's okay. mm -hmm. And then also, I'm um, out of curiosity. How did you find information about Nomala Nganube? I also googled. You also googled? Yes. Okay. And I got information. There was a lot of information, but then I took a bit of it. Okay. So, you see, where did that information come from? It comes from your blogs. You write things, and then they come out. They become live. So... But at the end of this course, I want to Google to Muslim Lodge and see what will come out. <laughs> yes. Issue Ziluto. Facebook account and your pictures. But anyway, thank you very much. You did very good. Go and replace that one. Go and replace with Albert, but also give us the names of their businesses a catering business exactly just as an addition as you prepare your powerpoint because your powerpoint once they are perfect you shall be presenting them and there will be an audience of people you don't know we are polishing you before the audience comes all right thank you very much you did good thank you